I'm going to give you a Thanksgiving message today. Turn with me to Luke 14. Whether you're with your family or whether you are alone, I think you're going to like these words. Luke 14, beginning in verse 16. Then said he unto them, Jesus, to the people, a certain man made a great supper and bade many. And he sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray they have the excused. And another said, I brought five yoke of oxen, and I must go to prove them. I pray they have me excused. And another said, I've married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. And, and then the, so the servant came, and he showed his Lord these things. And then the master, and then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, and the maim, and the halt, and the blind. And, say, and the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in. Compel them to come in. Do you see this dinner, this supper that the Lord has made? And he told his servant, go out and compel them to come in. And that's what he's saying to you. Whether you sit down at your Thanksgiving dinner with a great big family, or whether you don't even celebrate Thanksgiving, or whether you are going to have Thanksgiving today alone, listen to these words. The father told his servant, compel them to come in. Compel them to come in and eat my dinner. That's what the Father is saying to you. Come and eat of my dinner. Come and sit down at my table. Come and eat with me. It says, and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Go with me to Matthew 8. I'm going to begin in verse 10. And when Jesus heard it, this was, he was talking to the centurion, and the centurion needed his servant healed. And the centurion said to him, for I'm a man under authority. Having soldiers under me, and I say to this man, go, and he goeth, and to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. And Jesus heard that. He marveled. This man was a Roman soldier. He wasn't a Jew. He was a Roman soldier. He didn't belong with the Jews, so it said. And look what Jesus said about this Roman soldier. And he said unto them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith not in Israel. Have you ever felt like a misfit? Have you ever felt like you don't belong? Listen to these next words. And I say unto you that many, many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. Do you know that the Father said, I compel them to come and eat with me. I compel them, come and eat with me. Go with me to Ephesians 1. Let's see what Jesus did for us. Ephesians 1 verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings, all in heavenly places in, in Christ. How did he do that? When he sent Jesus to die and be buried and be raised again. <clears throat> According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. How are we going to do that? By walking in that Jesus died. And he was buried. And he was raised again. That's how we're going to get there. And I can hear you now. How can I be? How do, what if the Father hasn't called me? What did I just say in Luke 12? Compel them to come in. Compel them. The welcome mat's out, folks. The welcome mat has been placed out. Come in. S come sit down with the Father. Come and sit down with Jesus at their table. Come, you have been welcomed. You have been asked. You have been compelled. Come join the Father and Jesus at their table. And it says, verse 5, Having predestinated us under the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. How? Jesus died for you. He carried your sin. He carried your poverty. Mm -hmm. He carried everything about you on his body. Verse 6, To the praise of of the glory of his grace, his grace, wherein he has made us accepted. He has made us accepted. Do you know you're accepted by the Father? Do you know because of what Jesus did for you, you are accepted by the Father? You are accepted in the beloved. You are accepted in
in the family of God. Did you know that? How did that happen? Everything that was unacceptable about you was placed on the body of Jesus. Amen. Everything that was unacceptable about you, the Father took from you, and he put it on his son Jesus so that you would be accepted. The Father accepted you when Jesus was raised from the dead. Jesus paid your sin. He paid your poverty. He paid for your sickness, your disease. And he paid so that you could be accepted by the Father. And you're accepted. You're accepted at the Father's table. He mm -hmm. compels you. Come, sit down with me. Sit down with me and my son and have dinner with me. Last verse, Revelations 3. 20. This is Jesus, the Messiah, the one that died and was buried and rose again, speaking to you. And whether you are with a large group of people or you are all by yourself, listen to these words. It says, behold, I stand at the door. That's Jesus standing at the door. He said, a knock. And if any man, any man, any man, that word any includes you. That word, any, includes you. It doesn't matter where you are, and it doesn't matter where you're at, and it doesn't matter what you're doing. Any man, any man, and if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him. I will sup with him and he with me. Jesus wants to come and sit down at your table. Jesus wants you to sit at his. You know what? If you're all alone today at Thanksgiving, if this is your Thanksgiving dinner all by yourself, set another plate at that table because you are not alone. If you have Jesus, set that place because he will come and he will sup with you and he will sit with you and you two can fellowship together. And if you don't have him, open the door. Open the door and hear him because he's talking to you right now. He's saying, open the door and let me come in. Set another place at the table and I will come in and I will sit down and I will sup with you and you will never again be alone. And how do you do that? You have to receive Jesus as your Savior and be born again. And at the end of this program, door will lead you that way. And that voice is talking to you. He's saying, open the door and let me come in. And let me sit down with you and sup with you today. Amen. You know, the day of heaven, whereby one must be saved, just one day. Jesus, the best. Amen. The other, the grace and faith set your heart to be born again, to be saved, to be one of the Lord. Speak it after me and be saved. Jesus, 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 Jesus,